Aloha, I'd like to share with you what I've recently been up to on the web UI side of hacks. What you are looking at here is an example app, um, some sort of contact manager. It's quite rudimentary at the moment. These menus don't really do anything. Um, there's something here, um, but it will, it's just static. The one that works is this contacts page here. This is a list, you can click through here. Keyboard navigate, see things down here. You can go to a this is a master details view in one page. I can go to a page here where I see a form to edit this contact. Um, it's the usual stuff. I've done some field validation, Jack, Jackie, save it, goes back, saved here, go back in here, sustain, checks if it's an email. Um, there's something for conditional fields. This only shows if it's less than 18. Very sweet. Um, it's basically uh, standard. Uh, Angular JS app uses Twitter Bootstrap, Angular UI router. Well, that's actually cool because you can see how the URL here changes. Uh, slash contacts go in here. Contacts from the template one, so you can bookmark it. Back button works. But I mean that in itself is just you know a state of the um, art web app as of today. Most of this for this form is coded out. So if you look over here. This is the template that is used um, to build this form. So you can see it's a series of labels. This one's used for the name. This one's used for the email. Some input here. This kind of stuff shows the ideation messages. Yeah, fairly technical for, for just three or four fields, whatever I had there. Um, what's cool is that I have an alternative version of that form. If I go in here, similar form, right? Same thing, validation, Jack, Jackie, same thing. I even have got the conditional working in here. But this form is built very differently. This form is generated on the fly in the browser. Um, basically, I've got a model shown here on the left, which says, all right, I want to show a form. It's got a legend, which is this, contact generated them. It's got a bunch of fields. First field's got label name. It's populated by a data model um, in the model contact name path, the type of the field is text, it's required. And then I've got a template over here, much shorter than the hand-coded template from before, but took a few nights to figure out how exactly to do this right. Essentially this thing iterates over all the fields and then dynamically generates a label for each, an input for each, and on the fly generates this form. Nice. Okay, the real cool thing for doing this in this architecture, this um, what I call MuiGS approach, um, which is fully browser-based, is that I can live edit this. Check this out. Suppose this label here should really be first name. Model on the left, live view on the right. And um, this on the right is not uh, some sort of preview rendering. This is the running app. Let's change this to first name. I've got some issues with the losing the focus. That's why it's a bit cumbersome and the label changed to first name. This goes much further than just things like label editing, which is fairly common in, in CMS systems or something like this. Um, the transformation really is live. I can do things like change the required flag. First name here, notice, well, let's do it on the email. Notice how it's bold and with a red star. Make this false, okay? The email no longer is required. And this actually impacts the validation as well. Um, because the generator takes all this into account, all the technical things that have to happen to make this work is called in a template. And the business user can write a model and we generate the form for him. You can do more things. Um, this kind of stuff is probably fairly obvious. I have coded something here for prefixes for fields, envelope icon, make this a home icon if I want. It's gone, it's disappeared here, the icon here. I can make it a home icon. Voila, nice. Um, I can actually add fields as well. Let's say that in here I wanted a new one. Okay, new field shown. Needs a label. Let's make this a country. All right, it's showing up. Let's tie this into a data model. This is live stuff, live data binding. I happen to know that my contact has a country field. Voila, country Switzerland. can change this in here and actually get saved. Um, so you can see how it's got constants. 
for labels or required fields. It's got navigation path into data model. It's even got expressions working already. So this thing here is not hard coded, no JavaScript in JS, but just an expression in the model down here. Thanks to JavaScript dynamic nature and some Angular JS magic, this is actually working. Let's say change the age to be lower than 10. Then 12 year old doesn't have the shorter parents email, but a nine year old does. All right. Um, so far so good, pretty cool, isn't it? Um, there's one additional thing I have to show you before you go. So far I've changed the model on the left hand side here and you've seen how the live generator updated the UI. Um, imagine how this could be extended. I could write models and generators for lists or for these menus over here or what have you. I can also do it in the other way because this is two-way data binding. Um, this thing here really actually shouldn't be first name. I really want it to be name actually. No big deal. I can edit it live. I changed the representation in the running app, not a preview, running app, and over here my model got changed. Oh, it's got an NBSP in here, which we don't want. This could be extended. Um, you could imagine that this could have some sort of drag and drop where I can move these fields up and down or add additional fields in from some palette or something and add them to the model. So a few nights of, of hacking and more, more such things would be possible easily. The point of this demonstration is to um, show you the feasibility of this. Um, there's one more thing which we need to show here, which is how easy it is to actually make changes to the template. Um, of course, a number of things could be done here, more sophisticated uh, layouts, have one field next to the other, um, just need to decide on a model how you want to represent that and then adapt the template for that. Um, we could do more sophisticated data types, um, field sort of pickers or something like this. But the one thing I really am missing is that we should be able to make with a flag each field blink. Don't you miss the blink tag? This is quite easy. If I move over to an editor where I can see the template that we looked at before, this thing here is some AngularJS syntax that says if this is true, then add the CSS class. Um, so what I can do is put this in here and say, if the blinky flag is set on a field model, add the blink CSS class, which makes it blink. Uh, okay, change the model, save it, go in here. Let's try this out live, no compilation, rebuilding. Let's just do a quick test. So now we go in here and add this in here. And look at this, the label of the name field is blinking. It could also be displayed differently or have a new validation rule or you get the point. It's to illustrate how easily templates can be changed, models can be adapted, all very dynamic. All right, I don't want to take more of your time. If you think this is interesting, please leave a comment, get in touch with me. Even better, if you're a hacker, go right ahead, fork MUI.js and join this open source GPL license project. I think this is exciting. I'm hoping to continue um, on this and try out a few more models. Um, let's see where it all leads to. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.